everyone. Welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Katal Katri. I actually just graduated from Marquette University about two weeks ago, and I am so beyond excited to announce that I will be attending Marquette University School of Dentistry starting in the fall. And I could not be more excited. As many of you know, I got into dental school this past December, and in deciding between a few schools, I decided that staying at Marquette for dental school was the best decision for me. And there are a lot of reasons why. I'll probably make a whole video on why I chose Marquette for my undergrad and to stay here for dental school, but to list off a few reasons of why I'm staying at Marquette for dental school. I mean, first of all, it's close to home. Um, I do get in-state tuition, which is really nice. So the good financial decision for me, they have a really Really great clinical program. I just kind of feel a sense of home at Marquette. So there are a lot of reasons. I'll include all of them in a different video in the future. But in this video, I thought that it would be kind of nice to just reflect on my entire application process. There are a lot of things that I kind of wish I would have known. I mean, I had a really great few like mentors that helped me through the application process, but there are some things that if I could go back, like I would tell myself these few things. So I thought it would be nice to kind of just share that information with you guys, especially with a lot of you starting to submit applications right now, which is really exciting as well. So we're gonna get into just what I wish I knew before applying to dental school. So the first thing I would tell myself is about the personal statement, and I would tell myself to just trust the process of writing your personal statement. I know it's really frustrating sometimes when you spend like so many hours writing a draft of your personal statement and then you show it to someone and they tell you, hey, you should really change this up or, you know, you should switch this whole thing around or delete this whole paragraph. It's frustrating. I get it. But these other people are kind of looking at your personal statement with fresh eyes and that's how an admissions committee is going to be too. So it's frustrating, but take other people's thoughts and tips into consideration. And if you feel that it is better without changing this one thing or switching it around, then stand your ground, but just trust the process of writing your personal statement. The second thing I would go back and tell myself is don't be afraid to leave something blank. And I know this is kind of a weird tip, but I felt super weird sometimes, especially in supplemental applications there were questions like if you've had this one experience please elaborate or is there anything else you want to add to your application and sometimes I didn't have anything that I wanted to add or I hadn't been through that experience and it felt really weird leaving it blank like I was I just felt like I needed to put something there but obviously it just leave it blank. I mean, it's not going to kill your application. You don't want to waste the person who is reading your application's time. It's okay to leave something blank on your application. The next thing I would tell myself is once you hit submit on your application, relax. Okay. Take a deep breath. Just relax because at this point it's out of your hands. You've done everything you can possibly do to put your best foot forward in front of a dental school. And so now it's in the hands of the dental school to decide. So just relax. You can't do anything. Stressing isn't going to do anything. I remember I stressed so much. I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, what if this happens? What if this happens? What if I don't get in? All of these things. And stressing didn't help me. Okay. So just relax take a deep breath and enjoy. The next thing I would tell myself is about interviews. Interviews are not supposed to be scary. They are purely meant to get to know you. And I get it, it's easier said in hindsight, I know. But I remember being so worked up about my interviews and kind of being nervous and scared, like, oh my gosh, like, what are they gonna ask me, all of this stuff. And realistically, interviews are just meant to get to know you. Like, they already know your DAT, your, They've read your personal statement, they know your experiences, they know your GPA, all of that stuff. They wanna know, okay, who are you as a person? What's your personality like? What, who are you beyond your application? So just relax about interviews as well. And just, you know, they're not supposed to be scary and just remember that. And the last thing I would say, and this is a good thing to remember whether you're submitting your application today or five years from now, but just be confident in who you are and don't compare yourself to others. I know it's easier said than done. And I know it's really difficult as a pre dent especially to look at other people and say, oh my gosh, you know, this person is having this certain experience that I don't have. Should I be doing that? Or should I be doing something else? I don't like, it's, it's really easy to compare yourself to others. And 
Just relax and be confident in who you are as an applicant because your application is your application. It is personal to you. It's about your experience and your pre-dental journey. So don't compare yourself to others. Just make sure that you're putting your best foot forward for dental schools and they will see that and they will recognize that. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. And I know applying to dental school is really scary, but just take a deep breath. As I've probably said a million times in this video, take a deep breath, relax. You've got this, I believe in you. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to comment down below, reach out to me on Instagram. My DMs are always open. And aside from that, I am really excited to take you guys along my dental school journey. I started this channel just to kind of connect with other pre-dental students and dental students out there. And I'm really excited to just be able to take you along my dental school journey now. So hopefully you'll stick around. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to follow along my journey. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.